But, and here we go. So let's start. If you've got a mat, please do use it, but you don't need it as much as just to make it a little more comfortable. We're just going to uh, cross our legs. You can have them one in front of the other. No need to cross the bow just yet. Putting your hands on your knees and we're just going to warm up our back by going front and back, having a little circle. Just to wake up our spine. Perfect. And then we're gonna go the other way. That's it. Good, two more. Make it as big or as small as you can. We're going to do the same thing with our arms in the first now. So try not to move that frame. So it's really just your chest and back that is moving. Four times. Three. And four. And the other way. That's it. Move the spine in every single direction. And then take a big stretch up. That's it. Maybe have a little move side to side. Try to glue your shoulders to your ears, the opposite of what we usually do in ballet. And then just to feel it, can you go down? So you've got your shoulders down and up. Maybe don't hold your hands anymore. Just to feel the shoulder blades moving up and down and up and down. Now to this side, really reach far overhead. Little stretch, excellent. Growth through the ribs here. Make them stretch, stretch, stretch. And then we're gonna go on the other side, just a gentle, don't pull yet. It's just to add a little bit of weight so you get a greater stretch in your neck. And then we drop the elbow and reach over with the opposite hand. Excellent, growing through the ribs, filling your nose with air as we reach slowly on the other side. Good, so we're going to work a little bit on turn out today, so it's the position we um, want to work, not a position, a way for our legs to stay in ballet in all of the position and all of the moves. So if you just take your feet um, just as you would normally with your toes up to um, the ceiling. That's generally how we would be on the floor if we were walking. Now, some of us might have a little bit of a tendency to turn in, and some of us might have a tendency to slightly turn out. And hopefully, in value, we want to have as much turn out as possible, yes? So, we're going to try to have a really long back from now on. Try not to round it, unless I tell you explicitly to do so. So one long back, as if you had a little string pulling out your um, hair, pulling your spine, making like a little bubble of air between each vertebra. So you're nice and tall, but your ribs are not popping out either, so you don't have a bad on the back. All right, so from here, we're gonna try to turn out our toes. So if you've got your foot turned in, make your little to go up to the floor. It might not quite reach it yet. Long legs, knees straight, we're going to have our arm, right arm into an arabesque position and we're going to lift the left leg, keep that long back and then we're just going to go in and out, in and out, in and out 20 times. So we are four and five, feeling the rotation in the whole leg. Six, comes from the hip, seven, Think about the supporting leg, eight, nine, 10. Keep pulling away for this last 10 if you can, and up, 12, 13, in and out, 14, 15, 16, in and out, 17, 18, 19, and 20, relax all the legs for a second. And it's coming the other way. So stretch the back, stretch the legs, stretch the arm. Everything is stretched and we go one and two 
and three, and four, and five, six, seven, in and out, eight, nine, ten. If it's too much and you can't do the whole series, that's okay, it's really hard. Twelve, thirteen, you should feel it in your leg, fourteen, fifteen, keep pulling, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Breathe in, breathe out, relax of the leg. Stretch here for a second. Make sure your sitting bone goes right at the back and release your neck. Make sure there's no tension. And voila. All right, let's go lying down straight away. We're going to try to turn out again. So instead of being parallel with the inside of our ankle touching, our heels are touching. We're going to lift the top leg. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, you can do it without the arm on the floor. This will stabilize it a little bit, yeah, if you need. Otherwise, your hips are stacked one on top of the other so you don't roll back in front. We lift, get the arm out, and do the same. One. We have to engage the abdominal muscles now. Two. And three. And four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can hold the mat, remember. Turning in and out, so feeling that rotation coming from the whole leg, from the top of the hip. I've lost it, I think, from 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, put the foot in, you can grab it right here, in front of your hip, we're going to lift the other leg and do it with the bottom leg, ready, and in and out, in and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Stay up. We're going to take 10 little circles, drawing your toes. One, two, it's very little. Try to keep the turn out. Four, five, six, you should feel it in the inner thigh. Eight, nine, ten, reverse. One, two, no tension in the neck. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, release. Okay, we're gonna go on the other side. If you cut the sequence, um, if you cut the sequence a bit short, try to do the same number of um, repetition on the other side. Yes, so you're nice and um, equal. So we start hips on top of the other and turn out, lift the leg, and we're going to turn in and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember, you can lift your arm if you want to. Yeah, good. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It's quite small. But you should be able to isolate your turn up. 19, 20. All right. Here we go. With the underneath leg. In and out. In and out. In 
and out. That's it. The whole leg. Don't forget the don't forget. Don't forget the foot. Try not to stick in it. Good. I think we're on eight and nine. 10, 11, 12, turn out, and here, 15, five more, one, two, three, four, and five, and draw, circle one, two, and three, and four, and five. And six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse one, two. It's very small. The core is active throughout. Eight and nine and ten. Release. Good. From here, we're going to go on our back. I'm going to angle slightly so you can see a little better. We're going to have our legs going up. We're still going to work on the turn up. So I'm going to have my feet in the first position. Yeah? So from here, it's not exactly like in the center um, of extending where you can cheat and overturn. You're going to have to work with your the opening of the hips, which is the maximum you should be able to go to. Yeah? You can obviously improve it over time, but if you use the floor, to um, make it look as if you've got a flatter first than what your hips really have in them to do, then as you can imagine, between um, your foot that's turned out and your hip that's going to be a little more turned in, there is your knee, and that's not good news, yeah? That's why we want to uh, work in a safe way with your own turnout, and that completely depends on um, your own body. So, we're here. Ideally, we're a little bit lower, so we're going to start working on the abs as well, yeah? But you can absolutely do it all the way up like this. We're just going to do some dummy plie then and stretch. The lower you get, the more it works your arm muscle. Arms down. You're going to resist and feel the knee opening to the side. And stretch. And two. Push through the heels. Three and push. Four and squeeze. Five, push away. Six. Every time you get a bit more in that turn out. Seven and push. And eight and push. And nine and push and 10 and push let's do 10 more push make sure your arms are engaged your belly button is going towards your spine at the back on the floor on the mat 14 15 five more one and two and three, should I get the whole leg? Four and five. All right, we're just going to get my legs a little stretch by putting this leg over the knee, threading the arm through the hole, putting your hands around your knee and stretching the back of the leg a little. Here we go. Good. And again, a little stretch. Excellent. Let's put our feet firmly on the floor. Stretch your arm. Let me just check the time so I don't can't carry on too much. Let's slowly pulse. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, let's have a little bit of a stretch now that we've worked on our strength. So take one leg. Let's do it parallel. It's important to stretch both in parallel and in turn out because it's not going to stretch exactly the same muscle, but I do want everything to be nice and stretched. So, stretching the leg, grab it wherever you can the leg, the thigh, the calf, the heel, um, a whole the knee. Yeah? Doesn't matter how it is, you just want to slowly, in a nice straight position, bring it towards your chest. Stay. Deep breath. Good. Now, can you try it turned out? So the toes go to the side, and you try the same stretch, making sure your hips are level so you're not lifting, yeah, through. Um, either your right or left hip, depending on which leg you're doing first. And stretch. Now let's try to take it slightly crossing over the body line. That should deepen the stretch a little bit. Good. And slightly open. So now we're going to come back in the middle. Parallel slightly turned out. We're going to do the opposite of um, what you think we should do uh, if you want to stretch the very well. We want to go work it here. We're going to try to push against your hands as if we wanted the leg to go back down. Yeah. So you're going to push for five, four, three, two. One, release, that should make it go a little bit lower. Now again, push against your hand for five, for four, three, two, one, release, it should go a little bit lower. Last time, five, push, 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 release, and shake it off. All right, let's do the other leg. So, Parallel to start with, we're going to go slightly towards our chest. Not much to start with, just feeling the legs of the leg. Knee straight, parallel. And then we're going to do the same, turned out. Stay there. It doesn't work if you release the stretch every time. It's better to have it a little bit further away from you, but being able to hold it for a good 10, 15 seconds, a bit more, if we've got a bit more time, rather than just going in and out constantly. From here, we're going to take it across the body line. Good. Keep breathing through and then we take it out. Making sure our hips are square. The opposite hip should still be on the floor. And back. All right, ready? We're going to push against for five, for four, three, two, one, and press. And press against. One, two, three, four, five, and towards you. Again, one and two, press hard, four, five, release. Good, all right. We've got five more minutes. Let's do one minute plank. So let me get my timer and one minute, let's go. Up, one long now.
Good. Lots of timer. Here we go. Make sure the belly button is coming to meet your back so you're not losing um, the hips forward. Keep that little hair that is coming off your he head. So you've got the head going forward, the heels going back and hold. We've already done 30 seconds. So if it's enough for you, that's absolutely fine. If you can push through, we've got 15 more seconds. Well, that was enough, 15 from that. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release in your child's pose. For a few seconds. Deep breath. All right, so for the past two weeks, we've worked on our splits. Um, so you see, for front splits, which is excellent. If you um, want to do it after the class, um, please do work in exactly the same way as you do in the past two weeks. But today we're gonna concentrate on this one. Well, we're not going to go from there. We're going to go from our back just so we get it from a slightly different angle. So we're going to go in like a happy baby position. So happy babies are like this, yeah? But we want it turned up. So you're going to have your heels inside and your toes out. You're going to grab the inside of your um, foot and then gently press down as if you wanted the knee to come down the floor, yeah? Might not happen, but this is the direction we imagine our body's going. So gently pressing down, which is going to slightly open your hips. And then from here, we're going to stretch to the side. If you can't quite stretch the legs, stay where we are for now and grab the toes so you can still open a little bit more. Yeah, this time don't grab um, closer in. We're gonna get there a little bit later. So from here, bend, that's it. And then open as far as you think you can go. Deep breath, deep breath, and in. Only one leg, so one. Doing it in. And the other one. And bring it in. Both. Then your choice, either you can keep pushing down if that feels comfortable. If that's not available to you, simply put your hand, again, not on your knee. Ideally, you want um, your knees to stay um, straight, but with no bend, no weight on it. So you can pull a tiny little bit on your um, calf muscle. Going side to side, on your inner thigh. Good. And then slowly bring them back in. And then roll up. Excellent. And I think if you're correct, this is just the time to finish. Um, so, first of all, let me stop the recording.